Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the US Naval Forces around Guadalcanal in 1942. Um, beginning, as always, exactly where we left off in the previous episode, we have sunk a Ryuzo, which is absolutely a brilliant gain in our northern uh, part of Guadalcanal, just above Santa Isabel. That will completely reduce, um, or say completely heavily reduce the amount of air power coming in from that area uh, in the future. We do have a Shokaku spotted. We did unfortunately miss it with our torpedo strike from our tambor in the previous episode. Unfortunately, the uh, formation it was taking meant that it had some sort of screen uh, blocking it. We did hit one torpedo on a Hatsuharu, uh, which did not uh, did not sink us, unfortunately. But that did also, uh, the bigger tragedy there is that it gave the rest of the task force some time to maneuver and react to our torpedoes. So uh, we'll try this again. We do have six more torpedoes left in the tambor, so we'll keep scouting around for a bit. Otherwise, we'll come straight back down and resupply that uh, before we get into this episode though um, I do want to announce um, like at the end of the uh, previous episode that I will be streaming this on Twitch this Sunday and that will be um, uh, British summertime 7 p.m. Um, for your viewing pleasure what we are going to do is hopefully do a um, Tokyo Express Japanese campaign and with that I'm going to be taking or encouraging um, your suggestions for tactics and builds that we can take into action there so look very much looking forward to showing you that and I hope you turn up to see it um, without further ado then let's go to the strategic map and look at our situations so, first things first, uh, we have just realised that uh, this particular task force is misaligned in its formation. I would like at least one destroyer um, in the front there, and I'm going to take uh, the Marn to follow that up as well. And I think that's uh, looking decent there. What this uh, is going to do is just patrol around, um, possibly try and catch that um, fleet we see over here. We can have a look at that in a second, I think. I'm going to get them on a patrol route like that for now. We do see, because they're in our radar range, the ships that were escorting the Ryuzo. Looks like they're going to try and stay stationary for now. That suits us just fine. I don't want to take a surface engagement just yet with that. do want to try peppering them with uh, um, some float planes and such in the meantime. But that may be a slow process because we do need to focus on upgrading all of the captured islands we have around here now, specifically Guadalcanal, and possibly get a level 1 airfield on Melissa. We will have a look at that simply uh, just for a bit of a sight over in this area here. Um, and of course a couple more uh, planes there. Um, we are going to release the Warrington when that gets in range. Just going to uh, double check that gets there nice and easy. Won't take very long at all. Um, this particular task force is not moving, so what we're going to do is just get that to circle around Guadalcanal, like that for now, nothing major, just for a bit of protection. We do have the Bogue coming back with some supply ships, that is going to release the Bogue so it can restock its um, air units, and we're going to fill up the, I think the C3, the Davis, and get some supplies over to Guadalcanal from the New Hebrides. We are, of course, doing a massive uh, Tokyo Express of our own, the Australian Express, going to, um, obviously, the Cairns with some Archer in a Macaulay here to pick up troops and supplies, and we're going to meet the Cimarron and Task Force 10 here to pick up fuel and supplies and such with that, and they will be going to the Cairns as well. We are going to issue some orders, so we have got a patrol on the Tambor here to try and pick up that Shokaku again. So, with that being said, I think we will just double-check exactly Exactly what we are getting in terms of command points because we are going to be resupplied in two days time we're gonna be getting because of all of the islands we captured we're gonna be getting a total of 81 command points and that is astonishing that is a brilliant amount to be taking um, that won't be quite enough to get a carrier when we get resupplied on its own so we need to get uh, sinking some ships or perhaps we can try and upgrade something in the meantime, but that might be a little too late because I think it's definitely going to take more than two days to get any supply ships anywhere, especially if they go into uh, Australia there. Um, having said that then, we're just going to review our loss, our uh, enemy losses on the previous episode. I do believe it was just the Ryuzo. And uh, we got the Kyumaru, and that is brilliant stuff. Of course, a submarine in the previous day there. That is absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, slowly but surely, we are whistling them down. So I think the first order of business is to actually check what is in this um, fleet here. Because of the fog of war, it says there is a possible eight ships. Um, whether that's true or not, we will have a look. So let's go to tactical here. 
with our Kingfisher. We do have a couple of Wildcats in support as well. Not that they're necessarily needed. We can see them in the distance there. It does look like... Yeah, it is one, two. Is there a third? Yeah, okay, so there's at least three submarines here, and that's the ones we tried striking in the previous episode there, and they have just been spotted on the map. There's nothing I can do about that just yet. Unfortunately, our Wildcat's very far out, won't be able to get them by the time they submerge, and we are not armed at all on this Kingfisher. So, just a quick scouting thing, just to keep that in mind, note that down, we have three submarines on the way to Guadalcanal. So, um, with that being said, let's go back to the tactical map. And I think we'll carry on with our um, our uh, scouting operations. Perhaps look at Guadalcanal. What can we launch? Can we get the Air Cobras with anything decent there? We can try and get them with some bombs out there. What is the distance? Should be able to make that. Yeah, they'll easily be able to make that. So we get them out. And we'll try hitting those submarines before they get to us, of course. And of course we'll launch some more scouts and see what happens. I will see you with an action report in a minute. Well, well, well everyone, our Australian Invasion Task Force has come into contact with a mysterious encounter. So that could quite possibly be the three submarines that we have previously sighted. We did not manage to get any of them with our scouts that we uh, sent in ahead. So we'll see what happens here. We will of course be expecting three destroyers, uh, three destroyers, sorry, three submarines. Um, so uh, let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's get into it. Oh, we're going to press play and immediately uh, break and turn, I think. We're going to move with the Nessa here and the Napier is going to break. Here we go. Where is that? That's off the back there. Jesus Christ. I'm very happy that there is a destroyer here. We are going to increase our speed to max and turn extremely tightly. The Mauritius is going to turn, increase speed and turn out that way. Um, the Juno is going to do the same, I think. We're going to turn to port there. Australia can stay on course, and we'll see what happens with this, I think. Did we tell the Napier to turn? We did not. Let's turn out over here. That's a lot of torpedoes coming in there. Which way they're turning? Of course they're turning in. Reduce speed. No, this is going to be... We're going to get hit here. We're going to get hit. Should not have reduced our speed there. This is going to be very tight. No, 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 no. Look at the curvature on that. That is disgusting. That is a destroyed Nizam there. Deary do me. Almost unavoidable there, I would say. Um, may have had to... I think the best idea would have been to uh, turn round. We do need to commit to this turn now. How to sighted it with our um, sonar. But, of course... Not going to be able to do too much with our ship here, unfortunately. Um, we could try and turn him, but we'll see. We could get some um, some of these off. Let's launch as many as we can, as quickly as we can. We can see, I don't know if you can see there, the um, silhouette of the uh, of the submarine just there. Let's try and turn with the Mauritius then. Yeah, and his arms straight down. Got one or two uh, depth charges off in that time, but not enough, mm. of course. Um, do just watch out for the Australia. It does look like that is in quite the pickle there. Uh, let's turn around and uh, guess it to go to starboard, I think. Um, let's see. We don't want this to turn all the way around. Let's just keep an eye out for any other submarines, shall we? Um, let's keep it turning that way if the uh, Australia's uh, turning the other way. And we will slow down with everything else over here. Try and get some sort of bearing if there is anything else out there does not seem to be the sea state is rather low exactly what is it the sea state of three not too bad there's no layer depth hmm well i'm glad that's a destroyer and not perhaps a cruiser not too happy that we did lose that of course does appear to just be that at the moment though rather rather sad there I think we're just going to uh, stop there and go back to the strategic map. Well, um, we're actually not going to go to the strategic map. Plot twist there. We did actually get a notification that we have sighted the submarine again because it decided to retreat right through our formation. So after clearing some space for our nester here, we are going to use it to drop, to drop some uh, depth charges over it, which is going to be a lovely stuff. We're going to slow right down here. We have started dropping. 
and it's going to sail straight into the line of that. We should get some decent hits over there. Yes, go right on top of it. We see another one coming down here on the stern. Should get the propellers there if it detonates on time. Lovely stuff. You can see the saturation of damage on top of it there. Brilliant stuff. We are going to reverse over it. Hopefully get one more strike off. Not a lot of depth charges dropped. I did ask for a spread of three to go. It was just the three, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll max this out next time. Um, it's an interesting drop, uh, dropper pattern there. Let's take a look at the report. We are on heavy and moderate for the uh, submarine here. Hopefully we'll be able to get some sort of revenge for our sunken Nizam there. Uh, but fingers crossed. Do need to get back into position for that. We might even move the excuse me, move the uh, Napier around uh, to get that as well. Turn it round like this. Uh, move the Australia out of the way. We shall see what happens. And well, losses all around there, but uh, I think uh, not so bad. What is the actual um, availability of the Jervises there? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, where are we? Tribal Jervis. We do have, um, okay, interesting. Uh, six in total. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, not too big of a loss there. They are fairly cheap. It is destroyers. We have destroyers uh, of other sorts coming out of our ass. Um, <laughs> the availability of submarines is actually rather lacking in the TC mod. Um, so that is a win for us, if you ask me. Um, we do still have a couple more as well, and that's not so bad at all. Um, otherwise, let's carry on, I think. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting shokakus. <laughs> Okay, so um, we ha have uh, six torpedoes ready. I said we did, but uh, it appears to be just four here, unfortunately, because we can only fire four from the rear. I see. Lovely stuff. Okay, so we're going to identify the Shokaku and try this again. The distance is 7.7 .7 kilometers away, but the solution already getting that much better because the visibility and sea states, I believe, are better. Um, so what we're going to do is, like I said, identify it to help that go a little bit easier. Going to go to CV and Shokaku, and there we go. The solution getting to 80, brilliant stuff, 81, 84, okay, is it going to go up a little bit more? Maybe not. Oh, okay, we do need to change our positioning here. That's not a problem. Uh, we are going to hard turn here actually stop with that and just do a hard turn manually and increase our speed because we are going to fire from the rear like I said so we do need to get that off cleanly I think it's not a bad position here though actually um, hopefully we won't hit this Akazuki here or even the uh, Furutaka here we'll go straight through I think hopefully uh, at this sort of angle if possible so we're going to fire as soon as we can we do. Uh, we are going to lose a bit of solution percentage as we turn around by the looks of it. That's not a problem. Uh, I had lost sight of them there. <laughs> going to keep them uh, in our sights here. Just going to look at this uh, ship over here. Which is the U-Buddy. And, uh, okay, so we do need to keep sight on them like that. That is a rather, rather, rather strange. Okay. Uh, it doesn't change at all if I keep sight like that. Excellent stuff. Okay, so let's just fire before that happens again, I think. We're going to fire at a two degree spread, I think. And go.
I'll tell you what, it's uh, <laughs> good thing I muted my mic there. <laughs> Did the biggest sigh you could hear <laughs> when I heard those two duds, especially since all four torpedoes hit. We could have had that Shokaku down if those weren't duds. I hate American submarines. <laughs> I was thinking to myself earlier that... um. Perhaps we should invest in a second one just to cover some ground. But when I hear those duds, no, nah, absolutely not. We shall not be tempted. If we were Japanese, we'd certainly have more submarines about. But uh, no such luck, unfortunately. <laughs> it's so frustrating. <laughs> But uh, no matter, no matter. We've uh, hit the Shokaku. It should have to go back to repair, perhaps. You never know uh, exactly how cautious the AI is. We do only have two torpedoes left, though, um, and I don't think that's worth hanging around for. We are going to tell the Tambor already to go back to Reno Island to resupply. That's going to take 38 hours just to get there. If we see the Shokaku on our retreat path, perhaps we'll try and strike it and see what happens. Um, but otherwise, not going to uh, not going to push it. So I will see you in a second with another update. Well, uh, we finally have some sort of defensive engagement for you. It looks like the enemy has launched a hell of a lot of scout planes and float planes to uh, try and attack us, but it didn't actually come up with that on the map. So we are going to be uh, looking out for torpedoes in the water from submarines once again, um, just to uh, just be rather cautious there. So let's take this slowly and see what we can do. We're going to turn in like this, just a tad with our formation. Try and turn in to get some uh, AA shots covering the uh, massive amount of planes coming our way. Exactly what do we have here? We do have rather a lot of Jakes by the looks of it. Nothing too bad there, but the sheer volume will hurt. And over here we have a lot of Mavises and again the flight of the Emilies over here. A hell of a lot of them just coming in like that. We have been scouted out, of course, by... Uh, okay, so this is a Glen. So this is launched by a uh, submarine, so we do need to keep an eye out for that. It's a rather short-range scout, that. About 400 or so kilometres worth of range, that. So we do have something very close watching us by the looks of it. Especially now that we've been scouted by it, um, it will be coming to attack us, of course. Um, but in the meantime, doesn't look like there is anything about. Um... Just looking at uh, ripples in the water, so they're just natural ones. They're looking a bit suspicious to me. <laughs> We've lost too many ships <laughs> to uh, submarines now that everything's looking a bit suspicious. Let's turn out over here. Uh, we can tell ships individually to uh, uh, turn around when we know exactly what they are going to attack. Um, they're not in range just yet. Uh, reports contacts lost. It's not a problem. That's just because they're out of range. They'll come back into range soon enough. Will this Glen be shot down is the question. Probably not. <laughs> okay, let's slow down the time compression there. It does look like they're going for the lead ship over here. Our, um, oh, how do you pronounce that? Jouet, I suppose. Do not know. <laughs> Pronunciation is certainly a strength here. Um, but with that then, we are going to break with this, slow down and turn into port to get a narrower target for them, of course. And I think we're going to do the same over here as well, just to increase the speed a tad and change our turn. Um, everything else, I think, can reduce speed and actually turn around like this, because we are reducing the amount of uh, AA we can bring to bear at the moment like this, unfortunately. Does it like the Jakes are perhaps going for a cruiser here? Actually, quite likely the Northamptons, so we might want to... Mm, let's commit to this turn for now. They shouldn't do a hell of a lot with the uh, bombs from the Jakes there, unfortunately. I mean, well, very fortunately, if they don't do a lot. Um... Doesn't look like our Jue got hit there, so we're going to turn back out with that, and we're going to turn back with this just to avoid any collisions here. Uh, the micro is real. <laughs> uh, whether it's real or not does not make any difference if it is shit. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like it's just the Emilies and such that are a problem now. The uh, Jakes are missing here, and the Emilies do look like they're going for our Northamptons, so we are absolutely going to turn into that. Um, they might even be going for the Atlanta here, so we're going to speed up and turn out again like this, just to get moving. A moving target, whether it's uh, turning or not, is of course always harder to hit than a slower stationary target. Sounds simple, I know, but uh, always bears repeating. Does look like we're getting quite a lot of small arms there, but it doesn't look like we're going to actually manage to hit anything, unfortunately, there. 
Um, where are they going? Doesn't like they're going for the Atlanta. We have shot down two very quickly there. Rather nice. Let's slow down, I think, and try turning the other way. Oh, that was not so bad at all. Systems glancing, splash fire there. Literally splash, <laughs> splash damage there onto some propellers. Not a problem at all there. Let's cancel that turn so we don't cause any collisions. We do, of course, have these glens to think about now. Ooh, that was a big old hit. What was that? We lost our main batteries. That's rather interesting. Uh, it's because our magazine was hit. Interesting stuff. Mm, no, it is because it hit the... Oh, that is disgusting. I'd actually rather that's because the magazine's hit there. Uh, we've completely lost our um, forward gun batteries there on the Northampton. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. Two hits is all it took. <sighs> very, very accurate there. Rather unlucky. Um... <laughs> Oh, dear me, our bow is absolutely ripped apart there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, let's stop uh, these from turning too hard uh, because we are going to separate a little too much if that carries on. Uh, let's carry on like this. I think it's slow right down. Uh, we do, of course, have to wait for these Mavises to turn up. How many uh, planes did we shoot down there? Only three. Hmm. <sighs> it's really sad. Can we get anything on there? No, this is rather a shame there, actually. Mm. I really wish it was just the magazine being inop inoperable there. <sighs> Not something here every day. <laughs> but we are rather bunched up, so we are going to have to get moving again because these torpedoes will be devastating if they do get off. So let's start turning and moving like such. We are unfortunately going to have to move you Northampton, I'm afraid, as well as the Astoria here. Uh, let's break, turn and turn into them like that. And the Benham can turn out as well, I think, like that. Uh, luckily it doesn't look like they're going for the Northampton just yet unless this back group is going for it we are going to have to turn in a little harder there and increase our speed again there hmm where exactly are they going here I think we should reduce our speed here because we are turning into them uh, to get hit at the moment like that we do want to uh, I thought I increase the speed of the Atlanta here apparently not we do want to turn into them like that as well and I think we're going to do the same with our Marn here as well. Oh dearie dearie dear. Not a good start. Not a good start to the day. Yeah. We are going to have to send this Northampton back immediately again. Not having very good luck um, in the air game. Certainly this is why we need a carrier. Exactly why we need a carrier out. This would not happen if we had air cover. Um, have they dropped their torpedoes? Somewhat difficult to see there. Let's stop this turn and slow down. Um, I think, why have we stopped here? Let's stop turning, uh, increase our speed. Uh, they are going for the Northampton. Let's stop turning there then and try and uh, juke them into, okay, they have dropped there. We're going to want to increase our speed and turn out like that, I think. We might just, oh, this is not good at all. They're gonna hit, they're gonna hit. Let's turn around again, try and get our stern over. This is looking horrible. Torpedo beats activate, please. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh, that was very close by the skin of our teeth there. <laughs> but they are going for the Astoria now, so which needs to reduce its speed and turn, I believe. Probably be the best course. No, 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 they have dropped. Mm, should have been more alive to that. Should have been far more alive to that. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the temptation is there to cheese, but uh, no, we've got ourselves into this uh, position. We are going to take it. it. Should just be one torpedo, two, mm, nothing too major there. Could have been a lot worse. So let's stop. 
And let's stop with the Northampton now as well. And of course everything else. Oh, the temptation to uh, get out of that. <laughs> deary, deary me. Um, yeah, I think we are going to be okay with everything else. The torpedoes aren't going to travel to hit anything. Uh, we should certainly be more alive to that uh, um, Astoria strike there. But uh, not to worry. No major compartments damaged. We are going to lose a bit of speed in future engagements. Um, if anything, it's uh, f uh, future counter flooding. <laughs> uh, I thought I told this to uh, slow right down. Haven't hit any uh, propulsion or anything. Why are you not doing as I, t as, uh, I tell you? Hmm, interesting stuff. Well, I don't know if anyone was counting in that uh, engagement, but there were a total of 31 enemy aircraft in that engagement. So I think we did fairly well to take the damage we did. Um, we are going to have to send the Northampton back because we have lost two of the main guns. And if you ask me, those are rather important. So once again, we are sending a heavy cruiser back to um, uh, repair itself. And that is rather a crying shame there. But Having said that, I think that's all we have time for today, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to hear your comments in this section below. And once again, I will be streaming this Sunday at 7pm British Summer Time. Um, I will leave a link to the Twitch in the description from uh, in future videos, including this one, uh, for you to uh, follow on to there if you do in fact want to see the IJN uh, TC Let's Play. So, having said that, thank you all for watching once again. And I've been the Edified Gamer. Hope all your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.